How private is their area? Bruh. We're gonna act like I did not say that. Okay, back to the bill. <laughs> angels and welcome to another sims 4 video if you are new here then it is just welcome my name is vanna and today we will be doing another sims 4 build challenge the challenge that we are actually doing today is plumbella's generator plumbella herself made a beautiful generator for build challenges which i think is awesome i wanted to give it a try and i want to see how it goes let's get into the challenge and see what we get okay so here's the generator hey siri pick a number between one and ten seven that's my lucky number okay so we're gonna randomize this seven times and see what we get one two three four five six seven the building style of your house is brutalist i don't even know what that is your color schemes will be brown white and red you will have one floor and two rooms your budget for this build is 31,301 simoleons exactly it houses eight sims your disadvantage for this build is that you cannot use bb.move objects good luck babe plumbella are you kidding me why the move objects things i literally keep move objects on all the time so i'm looking at brutalist homes right now and it's giving very batu i'm not gonna lie yeah it's looking very boxy very square odd angles too but very pointy nonetheless so let's see what we can do okay so we are on this lot the port mouth promenade and it's this like dingy lot in evergreen harbor so we're gonna set the money amount so first things first let's turn off move objects because i keep it on with this thing but um we can't use move objects now can we okay let's start to figure out the box i might put this on the tallest wall height which is gonna suck to build but i want this kind of tall looking and i wanted to put like another box on top but that not actually be usable is that loud maybe i should just do a platform instead it's kind of interesting it gives it like a little bit more you know a little bit more something what so brown white and red is what i have to work with for the color scheme let me figure out the layout which shouldn't be too hard to be honest because what is that oh community voting board we are only allowed two rooms in total so it's going to be very open floor plan i think what i might end up doing to be honest is using a lot of platforms and stuff to kind of separate the spaces like i'm gonna have to get very creative what i'm thinking though right is this is a brutalist kind of style house and though brutalist doesn't necessarily mean apocalyptic or something like that i can kind of go that route this is like in a apocalyptic world and this is why we have a people living in this this home you know and they're having to share such a big space as a room this can be the bathroom this whole area back here kind of like a communal bathroom in a sense we cut this off and this whole area will be the sleeping area all this is gonna have to be kind of like living kitchen probably living here or living here kitchen here and have like a dining or something in one of these spaces that's what i'm thinking over here it's gonna be kind of where there's like an eating area and maybe even some toys because i do see them having kids you know just a couple of kids so let's find some stairs i'm thinking the werewolf stairs and then i gotta remember i have brown white and red to work with okay and then we're gonna put these same stairs over here cool i think that is working so far i should put some windows and doors kind of important we technically don't have like a brown swatch though but i mean if you look at it is that not brown on the outside <laughs> i might be pushing it but i mean hear me out let me find something else that can be used it's just hard because of how freaking tall the walls are i mean it has like rust on it maybe i could do something like this and what i can do is we'll kind of layer it, it up with stuff Maybe we do something like that. Maybe I could put something on top. Maybe we could do these windows right here. 
The only problem is I fear I'm straying away from Brutalist. So what I'm getting with Brutalist architecture is like really big, random, like kind of different shapes, different sizes. It's like even really big windows, really big open windows. It's like looks very modern. These ones are looking very modern at least. And they kind of have a lot of points to them. It's also very dull, very gray, very brown. Again, it really reminds me of the apocalyptic, kind of like how you see in movies and stuff like apocalyptic style built <laughs> is what I'm getting so that's what I'm going with if I'm wrong and you're like a brutalist expert by all means let me know what it, what it's really about but that is what I'm taking away from my Pinterest search <laughs> so this is the final layout everything is figured out we have just kind of sitting probably more on guard stuff right here to people to watch bathroom bedroom kitchen sitting area just like open area probably more sitting and then this is kids play area slash dining the thing is i'm putting a lot of windows in here but i plan to cover a lot of it up because i don't want it to be so open that so many people can kind of like look in and see but i will make it open it's just we will be covering up these windows with like curtains so what i actually want to do is we're gonna put a wall here just really quickly and i'm gonna grab curtains it's not gonna stay why why are those deleting <laughs> I'm thinking maybe we do like a concrete or stone out here. I don't know if I want white. Like I would much prefer it to be kind of like a dingy brown. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I am way out of my element right now. I won't love. Oh, I can't make up my mind. I have no clue. I just don't want it to look bad and I feel like I'm not doing this justice right now. What if we did something like that? What is that? Urban me? Okay, don't know what that is, but that kind of looks cool. And we could do it kind of just on that wall. Okay, now what the frickity frick do I put up here? You do something like that. It doesn't really match though, but I mean, I doubt we're gonna get anything closer to that. Let's do this like industrial pipe. We can do it in like a red maybe. I think I'm gonna do some landscaping and see if I can make it look better. So I'm gonna do that off camera. So this is what we have. I use debug for I think everything out here. I can just show you really quickly. You see the trees and stuff. I put some boxes out here and I put the little the like cold pad thing that I made. We have these cool the two items that I put over top as like little coverings and stuff like that. Here's a chair here and this chair I'm using it as like a sense of people being on guard so I might actually put a couple more and I just put like random boxes and stuff random things that they keep out here I'm not sure what this is but maybe this is a tower that keeps signal or something I don't I don't know I just was putting some stuff that kind of look apocalyptic apocalyptic to me that's the word i was like i can't say that so yeah i think it looks pretty cool got some pipes on here and then as you see back here we have a little cemetery a cemetery i cannot speak english so you have the animals and a lot of stuff you know you can use your own interpretation with that but they've been through many people and they wanted to give them proper memorial and yeah this is basically it i put some like rocks and stuff up here just like things were growing things are up there i wasn't sure what to put on the actual porch i mean i could try to put something i'm just not sure what i would put out here plus i'm kind of running low on fun so i think i'll leave this empty for now and then once i do everything else we'll kind of go from there so let's do the bathroom first because i i have to have eight sims and usually when i make stuff like this like apocalyptic style i like to think there's a lot of people staying here but mm, i do want one of them to be a dog i was gonna do two but now that i think about it i kind of want a little bit of each age range in here just to challenge myself a bit more so i want one of them to be a dog and then have like a couple different like adults we'll see we'll kind of figure out as we go i think for the showers we're gonna put the showers in the back and i might use we'll put this back here this could be like the shower area and i was thinking of doing something like that and then we kind of close this off with just like either little wall dividers or little half walls 
I don't know how practical it is to play in this. Oh, shoot. I forget. I can't move objects. So a lot of stuff is not going to work. All right. I think half walls it is then. C5. I think that's a little bit more than a half wall anyway. So I think a half wall. Oh, yeah. A half walls are literally only 30. I'm not sure if I should do more stalls for toilets or just kind of let it be. They can't be like in their own little room technically because uh, we're only allowed two rooms. So if I put that there and kind of close it off like I did these ones, then they'll count and then that's done. And then I'm just gonna have the bathtub out here. We're just gonna have one bathtub just for like the dog and the kids. And then we'll put a couple sinks on this wall. Cute, and I think the bathroom's done. I can come in and start adding more decoration later to be honest. Again, I don't want to do too much because I have to think realistically about freaking money right now. I'm getting kind of low on money, which makes me a little bit nervous, but that is okay. We will figure it out. I always do. Let's do the bedroom first. We can use a lot of bunk beds and stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this bed over here. These are for the two adults. Let me find bunk beds because we're going to be using those for sure. I mean, I like these werewolf ones because they look a little bit like rugged. So this could be for like the teen and child. We can have a young adult sleeping underneath or like a grandparent or something, depending on who gets one of these beds. And then a toddler bed would be nice to put underneath the other one. Can you put a crib underneath? <gasps> You could put cribs under these and that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the dog, I'm putting a dog bed on the ground and that will be all. <laughs> I'm going to want a changing table also realistically for a kid. And I think this is basically the bedroom area. I would like to add decorations everywhere, but I kind of want to focus on getting everything in here first. I will put curtains up because like I said, I want these to mostly be like closed off. Let me see what I can do. Oh, you know what I can do? If we have enough money, I will be doubling these up. So I could always just put these here and kind of like stick these on the corner. We'll kind of put those there for now and call this the bedroom. And let's come out and do the kitchen now. I'm gonna use this really cheap crappy refrigerator and kind of same with the oven, the really cheap, horrible quality oven. And that's basically all we need in the kitchen. This might be a bold move, but I kind of want to put a microwave in here. So I'll do that and then we'll try for some upper cabinets. I don't think I'm going to do all the upper cabinets. We're just going to do a couple. I mean, that might be pushing it. We really don't need all that. It's just for decoration, but like can't hurt. If I got to pull it away, I can pull it away later. So there's the kitchen space. Oh, this one from Werewolves. I think I might do a couple different ones though. Like, I kind of want it to look a little bit wacky and wonky. kind of like that idea. This is, like, fun to do because literally it's what a, it's almost like whatever they could get their hands on they used. Okay, so I don't see them having a TV because realistically I see that being, like, kind of down. You know, like, in apocalyptic movies or stuff like that where they have, like, a radio or something and they kind of use that to try to contact people what if that's like something that they're like fixing or they've been continuously trying to fix is like a little broken radio to try to get in contact with other survivors oh does that not fit on there do any of these go on that table hello wait <laughs> I wonder if I could fit it on a bookshelf. Never again. Never again while I play and build without move objects. This is disgusting. <laughs> okay, whatever. I guess I just put that there then. Maybe we could put a desk down and we could put like a little kids play area because they, you know, they need to be able to still be entertained, kind of learn a little bit of schooling too. So we could do this red one. Maybe we could do like two of these and then we'll put some like little dingy chairs with it and maybe some of these posters can be like somebody's an artist and somebody drew them you know just having some sort of life in this house i want it all to kind of look like it's been crafted there we go 
that's a little bit better so they can kind of play there that gives like a little bit of insight that there's children in the house that they're learning how to play they're still doing tummy time and stuff like that still trying to have a somewhat normal life with everything that they have to deal with all right and then i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to start putting some curtains in here I think up here as much as I can because there's a lot of glass I think they might just want the top part covered for the most part they don't want people to be able to see as much as possible so they want to be able to still pull kind of like the blinds and stuff down so if we stick with that theme of like not everything matching then these could be all right <laughs> so ugly i kind of like it let me come out here i need to put the tables down these tables there's one that's literally been crafted oh this look this one from batu and then over here we'll have just a couple little outdoor toys for the kids not really anything too too much i don't feel like they have them come out here a lot it's more like a treat just for safety reasons all right so as you kind of see it's a new day very very many days later i got rid of some of the curtains that was here and the reason being is because i did a little cheaty cheat thing Bruh. i mean i pressed better build by and cut on move objects to make it work <laughs> so technically i was using move objects which isn't gonna work okay the whole point is that i'm not allowed to use move objects so i have a change of heart and um not gonna cheat anymore <laughs> So I'll keep a half wall here instead of curtains. It is not like me using the drop tool right now. It is freaking out on me. Okay, can we put another one of these right here? Can I put a spandrel over this wall? Oh, I can. Awesome. We want to use up some money anyway. All right. <laughs> there are the rugs. Oh, let's go back into the bathroom really quickly and see if there's something that I can put up as like curtains. What if I do that? And then this one in the middle. It's not very usable. If you guys do want to play in this for some reason, just uh, change it. But we'll turn these into, do we have like a white swatch? That looks pretty white to me. I mean, it's really clear, so obviously you can still kind of see through it. But that's not my problem. <laughs> kind of same thing with the toilet, I guess. We can put one more here. Try to put it as close as possible. If you want to play in this, just take this out. This is solely for privacy purposes in the sense of if this were really a place that people were living how private is their area Bruh. we're gonna act like i did not say that okay back to the build and we can put like a seating area over here for sure so that people can eat inside it doesn't always have to be outdoors you could put some bar stools on it and i kind of want it to be like a bunch of different bar stools Still going with the little red, white, and brown color scheme. Cute. They do have a dog. Did I put the dog? No. Okay, so I need to put some dog stuff in here. So let me do that first before I forget because sadly I will. So we can do two. One for the water, one for the food. I know it's not really necessary in The Sims, but I just, I really like to do that. You could put like a little dog toy thing out here. Just so the dog can still have a little bit of fun. I doubt that's going to be like their main priority. He's probably, or they're probably more like a, a guard dog. But it can't hurt to give them a couple of toys. And maybe we put like a, a bed out here for them. Let's put some curtains over these. Did I have curtains or did they delete? I don't remember. We're going to put some curtains over here though. And then what can I put up here? There we go. The whole window is basically covered so people can't really see in that easily. And what about this like broken one from Batu? So I'll go a little space by space, make sure there's nothing else that we absolutely need. I might just put some like cracks and stuff on the wall. Like the place is kind of falling apart a little bit. I think that's cool. Is there anything that I can actually put on the wall? I like in these type of builds putting decals on the walls because like somebody can come in and paint these i think i had put terrain paint under here and it all went away it was not this ugly let me see what i have that i can do to try to make it more personal than all the damn dirt let's use this like darker one to kind of symbolize like it's been used a lot stepped a lot in these areas 
All right, and the backyard is pretty much done. If I have a little bit more money, I might put some stuff on the wall out here. Otherwise, I don't think we really need much. Maybe we put like a little, did I put a lamp in the front? Let's put some lamps in the front and the back, obviously for some sort of lighting, especially people are gonna have to keep a watch out here. You wanna be able to see what you're doing. Oh, these candle ones from Cats and Dogs is actually perfect it would make sense that they have to use candles so the entryways are lit up wasn't there two desks i thought i had two desks here i think i might have deleted some stuff on accident oh we can do some of these for the kids wait 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 i forgot growing together had these things do you think they get weather here i know it doesn't make sense to have snowflakes with these like lavish trees but i think it's kind of pretty so <laughs> We're gonna put some snowflakes around. Maybe they don't have snow and this was painted on the wall. To spark joy. Also wouldn't know what to put outside. And I have 28 simoleons left. But so far I think I did pretty good with the brutalist aspect if I have to ask myself. Let's go into debug and see what's in debug because there might be some stuff in here that we can just kind of put on the porch to kind of make it a little bit more full and then I'll figure out how to spend this last 28 simoleons but I want to get as much in debug as possible to fill this outside and then we'll spend the last bit of money. I put some stuff out here. I want this. I want the woodworking table. It's 750 though and I managed to scrounge up 88. So we're gonna have to get rid of a couple more things. I'm thinking maybe one of these benches depending on how much money there are. That one's 500. Okay. We're definitely getting rid of this bitch right here. What else can we yoink? Maybe this radio. Okay, let's get this first. We got the woodworking table, which I want. So we just have some barrels out here, some trash, some tires, because I feel like they not only make their own weapons, but they probably fix their own cars and stuff that they use to travel with. And then they have, if they have cars, probably only one or so many, you know. Then there's these things, not sure exactly what's in there, but it's some secret goodies. Maybe I get rid of this dog bed out here, and then we get at least two of these so that they can kind of grow their own food. A tree for 25, plantain tree. Let's put like one of these on here. Okay, now we have eight simoleons. Oh my God, you guys know what's eight simoleons? Exactly. If you guys have watched Sarah Kindle, you guys know exactly what's eight simoleons. <laughs> Ray's anti-ray ultimate sunblock. Eight simoleons for freaking exactly. We could put this right here. Put on your sunblock before you leave and we have finished. We have freaking finished the challenge. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment any thoughts or suggestions as I love reading your guys' comments and subscribe to join this heavenly family. I'm sending you guys so much love and light and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, angels.